Hey everybody, um, so some good news I found out last night. Apparently Mary Pilcher Cook, Senator Cook, the one I'm running against in the 10th district here, um, she lost her position, she lost her chair position um, on the health committee. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, um, Mary Pilcher Cook has been the lady who has continuously blocked all the medical cannabis legislation in the, before it ever makes it to the floor. So she's able to actually, you know, the, the bill goes to the, her committee um, and they make the amendments to it and then decide whether or not it's it's worthy enough to even make it to the floor for a vote. So um, she's been removed for whatever reason um, from her position, which is awesome for us because I've already been saying 2016 is going to be the year that we get some form of medical cannabis bill passed. Um, and because she's gone, I think which, whatever we get passed this year, will be more progressive than what we had hoped. Um, obviously, uh, Bleeding Kansas just, just wrote their bill and they're trying to get it introduced to the House um, right now. Um, and their bill is very comprehensive. And now that Cook is out, now that Pilcher Cook is out, I think that bill, um, when it passes the House, has a much, much better chance of actually passing in the Senate. So just like all the the planets are aligning right now um, up in our nighttime sky, um, everything seems to be lining up in Kansas from the budget problems we're having and, and we need something to fill to um, obviously her being gone and the fact that the media is finally starting to get behind uh, cannabis, uh, medical cannabis here in Kansas, I really honestly think this could be the year. So what that means, um, I'm going to try and keep this short, what that means is we need you guys to get out there and start emailing and get in phone, uh, you know, getting on the phones, giving your representatives a call for your state senate and your and your state house uh, representatives. Um, in the past, a lot of people have told me that you know, well, it doesn't make a difference, or you know, even if my representative gets behind it, it's going to get shut down in the committee. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. So. Um, the fact that any email you send, any phone call you make to your representatives um, is going to have a much greater impact now that Pilcher Cook is out of her seat. So if you want us to be like Colorado and California and, and all the other states, the other 23 states who have passed medical cannabis uh, legislation, uh, we're going to need to put forth an effort like those states did to get it done. It's not just, it can't just be bleeding Kansas. We need everyone out there on the phones and, and writing emails um, once a week, um, if you could, um, and, and tell them to support the Kansas Safe Access Act, um, and that's the one that, that Bleeding Kansas wrote, and I'm telling you, it's a phenomenal bill. I read through most of it, um, and I mean, they've really covered their bases, so uh, good news for everybody, and um, stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on what happens with it.